I'm Audra Stafford here at the Old Globe Theatre to get the buzz on the world premiere musical Whisper House from the two talented guys who know it best, Kyle Jarrow and Duncan Shee. Set in a lighthouse in Maine in 1942, Whisper House tells the story of a young boy named Christopher who's sent to live with his aunt after his father is shot down during World War II. to the lighthouse is a couple disturbing things. One, the lighthouse uh, is very spooky and he becomes convinced that it's haunted. Two, there's a Japanese man who works at the lighthouse as a hired hand and he becomes pretty convinced that this guy is a spy. Uh, and three, his aunt is this uh, curmudgeon -y woman who has no experience taking care of kids and no desire to take care of a kid. How was your dream, uh, Small Writer Kyle Jarrow says the complex tale started off as just a simple ghost story. I went down a couple different paths before I sort of arrived at this story. First of all, I felt like a story about a child made a lot of sense. I mean, I think children and ghosts has always been just a really natural connection. And I wanted to write a story about fear. But he was most terrified of being buried alive. And my brother uh, was in the army, he was actually in Afghanistan. So it seemed to me if there was a way to tie all of that together, that was just something that I was interested in writing about at the time. To bring the story to life musically, Jarrow enlisted the talents of singer-songwriter and two-time Tony winner for his work on Spring Awakening, Duncan Shee. My first strategy was that I was going to take Kyle's text and whatever happened in previous scenes, I was going to like just like st actually plagiarize his words and turn them into songs. There's no such thing. And that turned out to be like an impossible thing. You just actually can't really do that. But it was like, a, it kind of got the ball rolling. And then it was really super fun for me because I got to write these songs from the perspective of these cynical and sardonic ghosts. Those ghosts also gave Sheik a chance to play with the instrumentation. I thought, well, these ghosts, they drowned in 1912, so maybe there should be a layer of instrumentation that was like the, the last vestiges. Sound effects from the show. Yeah, the last vestiges of, of what the instruments they would have used in 1912. David Poe, who plays, who's the replacement for Duncan on the stage. <laughs> and it's great, he plays, he plays one of the ghosts. He said something interesting about Whisper House, which is that he said that it's, he thinks of it as, uh, as Duncan's Sergeant Pepper record. He, I think he actually called it my white Your album. Your white album, okay, Kyle. all right, Let's you're right. get one thing straight. But it, my Sergeant Pepper was another record, okay? okay? All right, all right. <laughs> but I think what, what's, what's true about that is there's a lot of humor in the music. Yeah. And then there's these moments of beauty. It just makes it a really fun score to listen to. Jero and Sheik say the Old Globe has been a great fit for Whisper House. I've been so appreciative and kind of honored that, that there's been such a good energy around it. As for where they'll go next. Obviously we'd love to go to New York at some point. But for now, they're just enjoying the whispers of a full house. For Broadway World San Diego, I'm Audra Stafford.